normal, average guy. There's nothing exemplary about me other than the fact that I own a basketball team. I am Brooklyn, born and raised. We're in my, my room. All eight by 14 of it. This is the hub of the Brooklyn Skyrockets. We're in the basement of my mother's house. She's never done my laundry, put that out there. Um, she might throw it into the dryer for me if I forget, which does happen. But for the most part, I'm, I'm self-sufficient. We got a fire on the dance floor. The ABA originally was the flashier league. They were the first one to the three-point line, the slam dunk tournament. So there are still parallels, but that red, white, and blue ball is so iconic that you, you can't get rid of it. There's teams all over the USA, Canada, there's even a team from Japan that comes over. There's close to 100 of us. I graduated college a little over a year ago. I was trying to find something to do with my sport management degree. I love sports. I love playing, you know, basketball games, like video games. So I figured, why not? We'll go for it. Maybe I'll be the GM in the Knicks someday. <laughs> the whole point of the ABA is accessibility to ownership. Not everyone has to be a millionaire. If you were to want to be a member of the ABA, it's a not too vigorous process. It's $10,000. $10,000 and you could have your very own basketball team. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, yes. Hello everyone, I'm Dylan Joya and I'm the owner of the Brooklyn Skyrockets. We're playing at somewhere called Aviator Sports and Event Center. You have to find players, uh, so we had tryouts. We have to find coaches. You gotta put together a website and then you gotta start raising funds through sponsorship and getting your name out there. You can't survive alone just selling t-shirts out of the back of your car like I am right now. <laughs> the players that play in the ABA are older players who maybe played overseas, played Division I basketball, D2, D3, community college, who for some reason or another were overlooked. The players have to buy into it and understand that they're not going to make millions with me yet. I just want to be able to, to, to run this team, to have it be a self-sustaining team where I could have a staff and where I could be an owner just like an NBA owner, Mark Cuban, sit in the stands and watch it and not, and not stress as much as I am and actually be able to sit and enjoy it.